So I've known for some time that I've wanted to put some security cameras around the exterior of my house. I've had a Skybell doorbell camera on my porch for a number of years now, but it's never really performed very well. And I've always known that I wanted to upgrade that as well. So I started doing some research online about what kind of camera systems are available and what I want the most. So some of the features that I was looking for are wired cameras so that I don't have to mess with recharging batteries every few months, power over ethernet, because that will allow me to plug in all of my cameras with just an ethernet cable, supplying both power and data. I also wanna be able to access the video from anywhere, so on my phone, some sort of mobile app, and I don't wanna to have to pay a monthly fee to store that video. So I'm surprised to see that Lorex wasn't really a known brand to me. I had never really heard of them before I started looking all this up. One popular system is the Ring video doorbell, and I'm sure that that works for some people, but my hang up on that is you have to pay a monthly fee for the storage. So instead I went with a Lorex video doorbell. It's a wired 2K resolution doorbell camera. And I also got a Lorex NVR camera system that's got eight channels on it. It comes with four cameras. The doorbell camera is without a doubt the easier to install of the two systems. I just removed everything from the box including this chocolate chip cookie, which I totally didn't sneak into the box before recording. And of course, what's a chocolate chip cookie without a glass of milk? The camera comes with a few different types of mounts so that you can angle the camera to be up, down, or level, depending on the type of siding that you're installing it over. I just selected the mount that I needed, put in a few screws, connected the two wires, and that portion was done. Then inside, I have to wire up this little box to my existing doorbell. And then manipulate some settings in the app for whether I have a digital doorbell or a mechanical doorbell, which mine is mechanical. And then I just mounted the little box to the top of my existing doorbell case since it wouldn't fit inside. And things were good to go. Now you could stop here. I think the video doorbell is like the basic entry level camera system for a homeowner, especially somebody who's not very uh, DIY inclined. Uh, but I of course wanted to take things a step further. I ended up building a rolling cart out of some two by fours and spare plywood in my basement that I would end up setting the NVR box on as well as uh, the monitor. I built one of these carts a while back for my planer, and I built this one the same way so that if I ever move the camera system off of it, at least I'll have access to another cart for tool storage. Then I started picking out the places on the outside of the house where I want to mount the cameras. The first camera I installed sweeps across the entire front side of my house. So my house has a solar envelope on it, which means there's a solarium on the back side and the entire front side of the house is a double insulated wall with an air gap between. This air gap came in really handy for me. I could drill through the siding into the wall cavity. Then I ran my ethernet cable through the first wall into the gap and dropped it down into the basement where the NVR would be placed. Once most of the ethernet cable was fed through the wall, I connected it to the camera and sealed up the connection with the plastic casing. And then screwed the camera into the wall using the pre-drilled holes from the template. I then continued the same process for the other cameras, placing one on my porch, one over the garage overlooking the driveway, and one on the back side of the house overlooking the entire backyard. So overall, I think that this kind of camera system is advantageous over others uh, due to the decreased maintenance over time. Obviously the upfront cost is that the installation process is a little bit more intensive, including some crawling through the garage attic in my case. But overall it satisfies the needs that I have for a camera system and I think it's a good one to go for in case you're looking for one.
I'll leave a link in the video description that links directly to the same system that I bought. So feel free to check it out there.